Can we go stop for a second? No, it, it's fine. Because he's going to do that. I'm saying I could bring him over here. No, he's he fine. Okay. Mobile low bandwidth simulcast of this show available on Alpha Geek Radio. Using your mobile device web browser, go to mobile.alphageekradio.com to tune in now. Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine cast. We are pair of the sickle couple, Jay and Renee Valentine. Today is Monday, April 14th, 2014. And this is episode 153. I like how you had to uh, get, get the little computer to help you out there. Yeah, so how, how do you say that word? What kind of couple are we? Paradisiacal. Yes. Paradisiacal. We're a paradisiacal couple. The only reason we're the predecessor couple is because Jay heard Prince song. No, it's because Phil Collins was playing. Phil Collins was playing. Just another day for you and me in paradise. in paradise. And I couldn't say we're a paradise couple. I mean, it just don't sound right. Come on. I'd rather just mispronounce paradisicle. Paradisicle. I mean, sh- I, I did it again. Play it again. I, I closed the window. Oh, too, too late. You don't, you don't, too late. You don't remember how it went, do you? Parrot, hold on. Let me look at the notes. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. Hold on. Paradisiacal. Uh, uh, Paradisiacal. Oh, <laughs> but, oh, I'm, I'm saying paradisical. That's like a popsicle. Mm. But ha- we're off course. Speaking, hi, everybody. Speaking of popsicles. Speaking of popsicles. Hi, everybody in the chat room. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is. <laughs> thanks for showing up for this crazy show. This is. I'm in a weird mood today. Probably because I was getting pumped up to music beforehand. That's what I need to do before every podcast. You should. Music. You should. And then then we'll then have some little... crazy. We'll have some crazy couple that we've been for 150 some odd episodes. And I will try to pronounce paradisiacal. And you, you did it. And, and it, I learned a new word because I had no idea that was even a word. Yeah. I thought you made it up. And Renee, actually, she made up a... She, she thought she made up a word this morning. I don't know why I thought adhes yeah, she thought was it, not a word. Yeah, so she thought adhes was not so, not a word. So it was weird. So this is this is how crazy we are. On our way to work, uh, Jay, it, it's uh, raining and the windshield wipers are on and the windshield has caught this little piece of branch. Right, right, right. A tree and it's dragging it across the window and Jay and his OCDness really wants it gone because it's making streaks across yeah, the window. It's making, it's making line streaks across so the window. So he's freaking out. Right. And then then he finally then it finally kind of goes off towards the side of the window. Right. And then Jay says I said I said please science. No, no, no he says science please. And then I said please don't adhese and then yeah. he gave me a fist bump. I was like please don't 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 be science. Don't 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 do what's right. Because it should have. It well, should have. It, well, there wasn't enough liquid yeah, for it to pull because back. Because water is is an adhesive. Right, right. It seems weird that it is, but it is. It te- tends to want to stick to things. Right, right. But exactly. anyway, so that's your science Monday for yep. today. So I just want to thank folks at Alpha Geek Radio for letting us live stream this. Thank if you're listening you. now, thank you. thank you for listening now. And if you listen to this later, thank you as well. I um, also want to thank the folks at Pretty Like Music at music, prettylikemusic.com for allowing us to use their music in the intro and outro. Also, the Andrew Allen Trio and for at Coverville Records for allowing us to use um, their music for our music in the background. Also, want to thank the folks over at Core Natural. Fine makers of natural soap, like lemongrass. You used and, it, and I used it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I um, I will say that my experience with the uh, lemongrass soap has been awesome, and I'm excited to try the other one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the lemongrass soap, put it back in this beautiful, well crafted box, and I'm going to try another. Try, one. You gonna try all to cycle through them now? Yeah, right? I'm going to try to cycle through and them, and then then take your favorite and see. I had to finish my I. 
I can't just leave my other soap there. Sure you can. Sure, sure I can. I mean, you can just change one day and just use it and then go back. Yeah, I guess I could. I mean, it's not like, okay, okay. So I kind of understand a little bit because I think you're afraid that if you use the core natural soap, you're going to keep using it. I won't go back. So, but you can see what they're doing over it, and you can um, buy those lovely soaps over at corenatural.com. Yep. Um, I, I want to say hi to the chat room. I was getting ready to say, and we also want to thank our live listeners and folks that are watching us here. Hi, chat room. Uh, in the chat room. What is going on, Woo! everybody? So, who do we have with us today? Diddy is here. Hi, Diddy. Hey, Diddy. And uh, JK Grammar mm-hmm. is here. What's going on, JK? Hi, JK. Punk Gopher. Hi, Punk. Hi, Punk Gopher. Zufi is here mm-hmm. from the Justice Point from podcast. Justice Point podcast. Yeah. Uh, Zabi was just here, then she left. I, I think she's she back, was. though. Is she back? I okay. think she's Valentine one seventy four now. She's Valentine one seventy four. Yep, that's she an is. awesome name. Um, <laughs> and so we want to say a special hi to Udella and hi, Mo, Udella. Mo yeah. Hogan. Uh, yes, even though they're not in the chat room, they're still around. Yeah, and also I want to say. Hello to JB Hanna. I mean, he's not here in the chat room today. He's not, but you but, s- but as soon as you logged you're giving in, giving him a I, I am. But when he but when shout out. But when you logged in, what was the first thing you said? JB Hanna's not here. I know. <laughs> I was like, he's been here every single time since we started X Chat, and he's not here. Yeah, there's like a void in my chat room. So we're worried a little bit, man. JB Hanna, I, you okay? I know he did this show. You're not my, AFK. Yeah. <laughs> so sad yeah so um thank you all for being here with us and everything we really and, appreciate it and jk of course is from the 10 um ford podcast and um punk gopher has something going on you know he might be doing some gaming with gopher and he's probably gonna kill me for saying that right now yep. <laughs> but <laughs> you know as it gets closer to it we'll definitely we'll bring it up more as he gives me permission 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 <laughs> so um also a special shout out to the folks over at the hush show and I'm um, over at the Black Astronauts podcast. Um, and there'll be some more shouts at the end of the show. So, uh, hey, t- further ado, babe, why don't we just go ahead and just do a little bit of weekend wrap up? Let's do it. We- 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 weekend wrap up! That's how you people say it, right? That is oh, how yeah. we say it. So, Jay man, caught the plague. Let me tell you. So. Friday morning around 3 a.m., maybe 2 a.m., I woke up violently shaking, and I didn't know what was going on. I really didn't know what was going on. I I was really cold. I didn't know if somebody was playing a trick on me, (laughs) and like I felt like there was a mind thing going on with me, so I was freezing to death, so... I ended up getting up, and I don't think if I if I say I went to go pee, is that that's not that, too much? No, it's not. So I Every, went to go. Everybody, pees. I went to go pee, you know, and I was already cold. So I was sitting there peeing, and I peed for for <laughs> a very long time, so long that I was tired standing up. That I stopped and I walked. And I sat down to finish. <laughs> and it was a long pee. And so. I was like, what is going on? So I got back in the bed and I was cold. I covered up as much as I could with all the blankets we had. And I was like, you know what? I need to turn I need to turn my heater, my heated pad on. And I didn't understand what was going on. So I was shaking for a little bit more and everything else. Didn't know what was going on. I just thought I was just really cold. Um, about an hour later, I took my temperature and my t- I had a 102.6 degree fever. So this is Friday morning. I was like, holy hell. I have a confession to make. What? I heard you take your temperature that night. I know. You morning. woke up and asked me. No, I asked you the next morning. Oh, okay. I vaguely heard you. I went back to sleep because I was so tired. Oh, okay. But I did hear you. That's fine. That's, fine. That's my confession. That, uh, why is that confession? Okay. That's the... Because that right there, babe. That is the normal mode of Renee. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw that out there. But I should have asked. No, you would have asked Renee, me. Renee, that is your normal mode to when I stir in the middle of the night, you don't get up or anything. That that's 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 normal. I'm not. That's not bad. It is bad. It's not. <laughs> what would you have done if you heard me take my temperature? But that's me, Renee. That is me. That's me. 
So Jay's better than me is what he's saying. That's right. He's saying. So 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 that's definitely me. And so um, I woke up later that morning, and I took my temperature again, and it was down to like a hundred and one point two or something like that. And Renee was like, "Dude, you know, you need to stay home." So yeah. So I worked from home, um, and everything um, that day, as much as best as I could. And you know, I got a few things done, and I would you know kind of relax a little bit and do some more things. And my temperature kept wavering between 100 and 102, and and I was taking you know I was drinking fluids, I was drinking, I was drinking you know I was drinking fluids, drinking OJ. Um, I wasn't vomiting or anything, and I was taking no. the medication. And so when Renee got home like at two, I was calling a short day. I, I went ahead at three o'clock. I laid back down, and I slept until eight o'clock. Yeah, he slept like constantly. It was crazy. Right. So I slept until eight o'clock. I woke up. My temperature. When I woke up, I was shaking again, and I didn't really want to get up. <laughs> And so my temperature was around 101 again. So I got up because I really hadn't eaten all day. And so I got up because Renee had got me some soup that she had cooked two hours earlier. I had made it two hours earlier. Because I was getting, because I said, she said, you mean go ahead and make your food? I said, yeah, go ahead and make the soup and I'll be up in a minute. That's what I said. And a minute turned into two hours. I was like, I'm just going to go on and let him sleep. And so I slept for two more hours. And I came up, and Renee was like, you want me to go ahead and you may heat up your soup? I was like, no, nah, babe, you already cooked it. And you I tried know it, was, and it was cold. I know it was fine. In my mind, it hadn't been two hours. And I, right. when I pulled, <laughs> so you know how chicken noodle soup is when you pull the um, spoon out mm-hmm. and everything, and it had the, the lining on it. It had the skin on it. <laughs> the skin it on it. I was like, so I was like, ah, yeah, I might want to. Heat that up. I might want to heat that up. So can you heat that up for You're me? You're so funny. So that night, um, again, um, my temperature actually went up the to a hundred. Went up to a hundred and three point three. Yeah, and that's when I got scared. That's when Renee got scared. I told Renee to call her sister Deidre ahead of time. You know, but um, I didn't think it was going to get that high. Yeah, so it, it got up to a hundred and a hundred and three point three, and Renee was getting worried. And I was like, okay, we need to call Deidre to figure out if I need to go to the emergency room. How high do I need to for it to go before I go? Which that temperature is 104 is what we heard. Unless you have neck. What is it? Neck stiffness or pain. When you're- and I'm not going to lie. Um, neck stiffness. And so me being the crazy person that I am, yeah. I shouldn't have asked. And I said, what does it mean if you have neck stiffness? And a fever. Possible spinal meningitis. Spinal meningitis is what Renee said. So I kind of freaked out a little bit, right? Because it can be really serious. It can be really serious. So, and the reason it freaked me out was, one, one of my things I was going to do this weekend, I was going to get a new pillow because my pillow that I've had for two years has has worn out, you know, Mm -hmm. because, and, you know, I think it's worn out. And I'm kind of like, oh, man, my neck is hurting a little bit and stuff, right? And so I go back to bed, and my temperature, you know, it starts going down from taking the medicine. Um, I, I lay back down around 10 o'clock, and, you know, Sickly dude. And, and my temperature is, is going down, but I'm sleeping so hard, and I, I have been sleeping so much on my back, which I normally don't do. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night. I took my temperature. It was 99, which is good. Played. And, but my neck was hurting. Oh, and then he started. So in my. First you start freaking out. So I started. For no reason. So I started freaking out a little bit. <laughs> I'm like. I should have never told Jay what I could possibly have asked. mean. I should not have asked. And so I swear I thought I was dying with spinal meningitis. So what I ended up doing, um. Did I do the Sunday night? Did I do Sunday night or Saturday morning? When, I, when did I get the extra pillow? Was it Saturday night or was it Sunday? Um, Saturday night. So this it was, was Friday last night. night. No, that was Friday night. Oh. So Friday night, me going to sleep, going to Saturday, I didn't get a new pillow. So I just woke up for neck hurting. Woke up. My temperature was pretty regular. I mean, it was 98. 
so we went to breakfast and everything and um we had um bob evans and kind of relaxed and stuff and then um we uh <laughs> we got back home i took my temperature and it was um and deidre deidre came into town for thunder of louisville deidre did come into town which we'll talk about yep um and <laughs> But I didn't catch the J plague. Renee did not catch the J plague. So it wasn't contagious. No, it wasn't. I used the same thermometer you, you did. I didn't get the thing. So. Right. I, I think you did it on purpose. <laughs> just see if you get it. Probably. I mean, <laughs> if if I'm gonna get it, I rather really just go on and get it out of the way. Right. Right. Because I'm I'm around you all the time. So. Right. So I. <laughs> so I um, it started going back up after Deidre and them had left, and I was like, okay, what the, what's going on? So I took some more medicine. And it was like a hundred. It was around a hundred, so it wasn't like horrible. And I was going to motor yard this weekend. I was going to do a lot of work this weekend, and also get the nursery done. <laughs> um, so I started feeling a little bit better, and I went in, and I put one of the um, cribs together Saturday. Um, we played a little bit of a, a a little bit of Diablo. Yeah. And um, and then um, then all of a sudden. <laughs> My temperature. Well, we had to stay up because we were I watching. I told him. What well, did I tell you one, to do? one, we were watching Beckham. What I told. We were watching Beckham for Deidre, and it was going to be midnight before she got back. Well, what did I tell you to do? You said I put the cribs together, but I'm just sitting there doing nothing. It's not like it was hard work. You're healing. Yeah, I'm healing, but I'm also staying up to midnight, which is worse, staying up to midnight or putting the cribs together. Doing both is probably not great. Well, I, I, I'd rather not have stayed up to. <laughs> Um, so I end up, um, you know, putting one of the cribs together and my temperature started going back up again. And I didn't know until after Deidre came and picked up the back on. I took my temperature and it was back to 100. And I was exasperated. And Renee was extremely tired. Get bed. So I had already gotten my extra pillow because I was, I was making sure that in my mind I didn't have spinal meningitis. So I was using my new pillow. (laughs) I was using two pillows. (laughs) I'm not gonna tell you things anymore. Well, it's what. See, here's the thing. This, I I find it very weird that this past year, I don't know if it's because I turned. Well, I turned. I'm 38. I'm 38, right? Yeah, I'm 38. <laughs> I turned 38 this year. Yeah, you turned 38. Yes. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be 39 in June. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So I turned 38. So I don't know if it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, your body's like, all right, you 38. You know, you're going to get all this crazy shit. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it was like, oh, man, what is going on? Like, I've had I've had 24-hour fevers a lot this past year. You admit that? You have. And I don't know why. And I'm not trying to be one of those people who's like, you know, this was the first year in a long time that I got the flu shot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying not to be. I'm trying not to be one of those guys, you know, and then, and then, so woke up Sunday, felt fine, and then you know Sunday I put the other crib together and we got the nursery finished, and then last night after watching Game of Thrones, which was awesome, and Mad Men, which was boring, and then <laughs> got to bed. I took my temperature. Y'all should see the the hand gestures that she's giving me right now. I took my temperature, and I was back at 101. I was like, what? You can't do anything strenuous I was like, <laughs> sleep. I was like, what is going on? You aren't really? So I took some more Motrin or whatever that stuff is, Midol or That would be Motrin. Okay, so Midol is, for, is for, for, your, for the PMS, and, right? Correct, but I can't say PMS and right. Yeah, it's PM, PMS is a thing. Okay, I people take mitol during PMS. I don't understand why anybody. Yeah, yeah. So, well, Zufi said she missed Mad Men last night. Let me tell you, Zufi, you it wasn't miss, boring. You didn't miss much. <laughs> it wasn't boring, Zufi. <laughs> wasn't boring. It was so boring. It was cool to check ha- back in with people. It was boring. It was. I ha- what did I do? What did I do after we finished watching Mad Men? I watched the last part of Game of Thrones again, didn't I? You did. <laughs> Just because. But it wasn't boring. Right. So so anyway, uh so uh what what I ended up doing, um I took I took the mite all 
Yeah. Was it Midol or Motrin? I can't remember. You the, took Motrin, babe. Okay. <laughs> you took Motrin. <laughs> I took Motrin. You sure you didn't give me Midol? I'm positive. I don't know, Jimmy. She may have gave me Midol. She's probably messing with me. She's probably, it's the bottle's right beside your bed. And she's probably on the, the baby center boards laughing at me. On Friday confession, she'd be like, he, I gave my husband Midol. It's the, Instead of Motrin for his fever. We spent like uh, about 15 minutes talking about your plague. It was about 20 minutes. It was about 20 (laughs) minutes. You see, he gets a little... uh, But you know what? It encompassed the whole thing that we did this weekend as well. Because in that, we did say, we finished the nursery. Jay finished the nursery. We did. Yay. It is carpeted and painted. Both cribs, the dresser, and the changing table, all done. Yep. And we'll have a photo in uh, the show notes. Yep. And I will have a photo. <laughs> what? I, 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 are Frodo. Me, are you letting me call it a photo? Photo. I'm going to have, I'm going to post the photo in the chat room. Okay. Um, and and she's going to also put it on the, um, on the post as well. And then this weekend was the kickoff for the Derby's Festival here in Louisville, Kentucky. Yes. One of the biggest. Uh, fireworks show in North America. Yep, it is. It is not the biggest anymore. Right. I think right. it's one of the biggest now. No, it is the biggest. From what? Oh, in North is America, it still the biggest. So, I okay. think so. Um, so that happened. Deidre came into town with Chris, and and they came up to see yep. Thunder Over yep. Louisville. And uh, so that so that was cool. It was a last minute trip, and they they uh, went and uh, bared the the crowd along with Danielle and D also went. Uh, Kim and Jay and I decided to stay away because uh, we did not want to do that. So, right. and I did, I, and, I, and I did want to say hi to some newcomers to the chat room. I want to say hi to N. Hi, N. Uh, be clever. Be clever is, is here. was Valentine one seventy four. Oh well, now we'll see. We sh- now we know. Yeah. And Geek Daddy O. Yeah, what's up, Geek house. Daddy O? And Jimmy Marbles is here. What up, Jimmy? Hey, Jimmy Marbles. Yep. It's that tail core that we we pumped her on the pumped her on the core natural early and we in the pumped show. Her. I didn't pump her. You pumped her. I didn't pump her. You just said you. I pumped only pump you, babe. Okay. Mm. Anyway. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah. Let's go ahead and um. <laughs> <laughs> let's jump into some media. Media, movies, books, comics, TV. Sorry for grossing you guys out. See, there's no tech. See. That was twenty minutes of content. It was twenty minutes of content. <laughs> so, um, one of the movies that we had to watch that was um, that we pulled a while back was um, well, a couple of weeks ago was Girl Model. So, Girl Model was a documentary done about girl models. Yeah, I thought it was just be about girl models in the world of modeling and just you know, kind of fluff. No, it was a it was deeper than that. Oh yeah, so there was a so this was a documentary. This was a Sundance Festival film. Um, about um, um, getting models, recruiting models for Japan. Um, and so they were in Siberia. Siberia. And they were, they recruit models at a very early age. Yeah, 12, 13. Right, right. Because people in Japan like the young, almost prepubescent look. Right, because they're uh, so much innocent. And- yeah, they uh, like the innocence. And they like, but they like them really tall. And it kind of followed this thirteen-year-old girl, yep, uh, named Nadia. Yep, Nadia. Uh, and her, and her, going to model in Japan by herself. Mm-hmm. Did not speak English. Did not speak Japanese. Right. So, um, yeah. So <sighs> it was. It, it was. It, it was sad. It was sad because the ending. I don't. I don't want to give it away. Somebody, but the ending. It was sad. I was right. like, that sucks and that should be illegal. Right. But it is crazy. What they go through. That, what they go through. And, and <laughs> yeah, it's not anything I would wish on anybody because they're, cause they're so hopeful. Right. Because they raise, so in Siberia and stuff like that, they, you know, it's one of those countries that, you know, they struggle and everything. And they have this look that people in love in, in the model industry. And they recruit, they raise these girls starting the age, you know, early age, like three to five. And, and they're t- 
teaching them how to model then. And they gr- they bring them up and they're, they're, they're tiny girls. And it's weird hearing them say, oh, her hips are too big. Or she's too fat, and you look, and you're like, yeah. but I can see her rib cage. Or if they can... gain a centimeter in their hips, they can get sent home. Right. It's nuts. So, um, But it was an interesting topic, and it, and it allowed me into a world that I didn't know was there. And that's what documentaries help do. And I don't um, want to watch Top Model anymore because that's just wrong. I'm sure you don't want to watch Top Model I'm anymore. I'm protesting. That's just like what that is, right? I'm protesting. Just like. Anyway, so we watched our like movie it. this week. We did. Uh, Handle's not here, but I do have the random.org up. Do you have right. Netflix up? Um, you check, I assumed you checked the email earlier. No. I thought you was reading the comments from the people. No. No, the reason I was just saying is that I thought maybe well, someone you know may what? have a, a ha- suggestion. May have sent a well, suggestion, you know, I but I don't think that. so. So random.org. Oh, I'm on. No, 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 no. 62. We got a happy Easter from Jen Spa. Does that count? Sure. 62 to 160. 62. Yes, ma'am. To 160. Yes, ma'am. Please be good. Please be good. 148. 148 is. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, it's a Richard Gere movie. Oh, I like Richard Gere. I Ar- loved him in Pretty Woman. Ar- Ar- arbitrage. Hmm. As billionaire Robert struggles to the. De- to divest his empire before his fraud is discovered, fate takes a nasty turn, uh, and he must trust an unlikely source. Arbitrage. In economics and finance, arbitrage is the practice of taking advantage of a price difference between two or more markets. Yeah. See, I didn't know what that So, meant. apparently, it's an independent movie as well. But it's Richard Gere. Do you know I had a crush on him when he was in Pretty Woman? Yeah, I believe everybody did, as well as Julia Roberts. So, yeah. So, there. Uh, Geek uh, Daddy O, who is Mike Andrews, by the way, mm-hmm. he said that his dad likes that movie. So, <laughs> somebody likes it. So, it's good. Uh, we is have that now, one vote for now is that a is that a is that a compliment? <laughs> I, I, no. <laughs> say, is oh, that a so good oh, thing? Geek Daddy, oh, that is. Uh, he, yeah, he changed it's Star Mode Six. He changed. Oh, he said. sorry, man. I didn't know it was. Him I, I thought okay. it looked familiar. <laughs> you can't expect me to know. I thought it looked familiar, and I was like, "Oh, it's Geek Daddy, oh!" And um, congratulations to him and his wife. I, I mean, know they're making um, a big move. Making a big move. Proud of you all. Yeah, you know, and that's exciting. That sounds that is something I wouldn't mind doing one day, maybe. Yep. But uh, sounds awesome. Yep. Um, it's arbitrage. So yeah, arbitrage. Is he? Um, I'm gonna do a quick Google of Richard Gear to see how he looks nowadays. To see Old. if he's still. He is not the Richard Gear that was in Pretty Woman. No, he's not. He's he looks like he is. He looks not. like what's his face from um from um Mad Men, the one. The, the Roger. He looks like Roger. Uh, I used to have a crush on Pretty Woman. Uh, Richard Gere. You still can. That's fine. I can have a. Cause I can't have a crush on him now. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. So, um, one of the great shows that came on this weekend. Um, this was the second show. Um, second episode of this season of Game of Thrones. Yeah, and Game of Thrones was really good. It was. Uh, this year. It was. This year, this week, and. I just have to say the purple wedding was amazing. No spoilers. Okay. Uh, of course, but the purple so, wedding was amazing. So people that would have read the book knows what, what the purple wedding is. They should, since it's it's not the red wedding, but it's the purple wedding. Um, I never heard it to referred to as the purple wedding, so they may not know what it is. But I know now. Right, right. But I know why they're calling it the purple wedding now. But um, it was really good, and I didn't know that that they were going to do it in this particular episode but i was glad they did they're well, moving maybe you the story can tell me along. why it's called a purple wedding then so we'll, we'll talk what's the main reason oh yeah oh there you go okay <laughs> you got it so it was a super awesome episode this week lots happened the story's moving forward and hbo's gonna have a problem they're gonna run into no they said they're gonna finish the book Without, Even, them. without them, I don't, if, I don't want that to happen though. That'd well, be you better talk to your boy. <laughs> uh, really, I better talk to my boy. You talk to your boy. Get on the horn, of my boy. Um. So, so <laughs> there was a post on Facebook 
with um, LeVar Burton. And I think it said something like, you can't call if it's a spoiler if you did what I told you to do. And it was referring to the whole reading Rainbow. Yeah, you know, yeah. read the book. Yeah, yeah. if you had read, read the book, wouldn't be any spoilers to be had. Or be married to someone that read the book and had them tell you what's going on. Which is which is what Jay did. <laughs> yeah, so even though Renee kind of told me what was going on, I absolutely forgot about... Um, forgot about this part. And so it, it was kind of a surprise to you. Yeah. You were like, whoa! But even though, as, you know... As even, it was happening, did you remember me telling you? No. Or? Oh. I forgot. So I, I really forgot. So, awesome. <laughs> But it was a really, really good one. Uh, also, the premiere of Mad Men came on. Jay called it boring. <sighs> the only reason he thought it was boring was because... <sighs> oh, stop it. That's what you do to me. That is exactly. Well, what I don't. You did. I don't. I don't continually you, make Renee, a yawning sound. You, you did that. You you did that last. You did that last episode. I do. I yawn no. maybe once, and then I'm done. Oh, you did that last episode. It was very rude. So, so Mad Men was right after Game of Thrones, so it might have seemed a little tame in comparison. I mean, we dragons compared to uh, office advertising, maybe not as <laughs> exciting. But um, I don't know. I thought it was good. It, it was good. Um, story felt like it moved forward a bit. Of course it moved forward. I mean, it went from day to night. <laughs> the story, babe. Not the time. And the... Anyway, I still like Mad Men. I like period uh, shows. That's why I need to watch Boardwalk Empire. Because I'll like it. It's a but I bet show. you, I'm pretty sure Boardwalk Empire is probably more than You know what? Than... You ain't got to watch Mad Men with me anymore. I'm going to watch it because I'm going to see Joan and I'm going to see what's going on with the black people. The few black people that are there? Yep. <laughs> so we watched Mad Men. Uh, it was good. Uh, I'll be watching it. Uh, so now Sundays are packed for us. We have Game of Thrones, Mad Men, and Cosmos on, all from uh, 9 to 11. Nine 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 till nine so Cosmos has to wait till tonight, cause right, and maybe t- tomorrow, cause we might get to play some more Diablo three tonight because we are so close. So Diablo three, our journey, we yep. uh, got our, I got my um, mage, Bar- your mage, you, no, you got yeah. your barbarian. I thought, yeah, my barbarian to seventy. I got my mage to seventy. You got your mage to seventy. Yep. Then we started on my demon hunter, who was level twelve, and then, of course, when when you're running on torment six with somebody who's like a sixty eight, mm-hmm. you level like crazy. Right. So we're all the way up to sixty nine. Well, my demon hunter. Well, I here. got you up to um, forty five, forty six right. to meet with my monk. We aren't sixty nine, are we? We're sixty eight, I believe. Wow. I thought we were 69. We oh, might be 69. That's crazy that I we went it. up that fast. Anyway, so I'm 68 or 69 on my Demon Hunter, and you're 68 or 69 on your Monk. Mm-hmm. So we're almost done with that. So, um, and uh, it's great. I love it. And something we forgot to talk about last week. I can't believe we, we forgot to talk about this. What's that? Jimmy Marbles actually played Diablo with us. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Because we, 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 we forgot that. I forgot to talk about this. This was great. So I, so this is the fr- this is one of the first times that I got to be the level seventy. Right. I was on my witch doctor, mm-hmm. and Jimmy Marbles and Jay were low level. Yeah, we were on our we were on our crusaders. And the best thing is, is that Jimmy Marbles did not move out of the stupid. Sometimes he would just stand there, and then it would crack me up because he would die, and he would just crack up because. <laughs> <laughs> It was the way you all were just like I was like y'all are so silly. <laughs> and yeah, they were, and, and and they were going to just stand there. No, they had to shoot stuff. So 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 here's what here's what happened. I was using my throat my my ranged abilities my crusader. So I think I think Jimmy was kind of like, oh man, I th- I can do what Jay's doing right. <laughs> and so, so while we were playing. You know, we got to work on, you know, if you hold shift while you, you know, yeah, want to do some stuff. right into the monsters. I was like, you know, oh, Jimmy Marvel, no, get back. Yeah. And then also while we were playing, when we were playing, we kept hearing, I kept hearing, click, 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 click,
Um, now, to his defense, Old Diablo was like that. You know, that was one of the things that's kind of kind of good. And so I was like, you know, you don't have to. Um, you know, you don't have to keep clicking the the, the um, your primary your primary button, right? He was like, really? He was like, oh man. I was like, God, here's my thing. I don't want my brother to get carpet tunnel. Yeah, you know what I'm that'd saying? be carpet tunnel. You, you know, he'd head. be like, you know, trying to hold his wife's hand. He like, oh baby, 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 my hand. I I can't, you know, I <laughs> I can't grasp your hand like I used to. I'm sorry, sorry. babe. It's, it's, it's that it's that it's damn the, game. It's that damn Diablo. Sorry, I can't hold your hand anymore. Right, right. <laughs> sorry about that. So, and I think, and the funny part too was, uh, we were talking about, uh, we were talking about how, you know, since Renee didn't feel like <laughs> playing and stuff like that, I get to, I get to come on the computer in the middle of the night. Me and Jimmy get to hang out on the computer. I know. And be like, she'd be like, "What you doing, Jay?" I'm like, "I'm playing Diablo three with with Jimmy." What? What you mean, Jimmy? What you wearing, Jimmy? Jimmy. You're like, <laughs> oh. She sounds hideous. I'm wearing the Clippers jersey and some basketball shorts. <laughs> so uh, Jay, Jay is secretly be playing Diablo with Jimmy Marbles in the middle of the night. My new Lebanon partner. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta watch that. Yeah. But so, uh, so that was fun. We forgot to talk about that. That was super fun. Oh, so. because what happened? Because we were talking about we were Diablo. talking about that, and then we're, we were talking about playing with somebody else. I think no, we we're talking. No, we were talking about. There was one thing you you thought that um you thought I was going to have Jimmy like be your replacement or something, and I was like, no, no way, no, it's not like that. You Better know, not replace me. And we were, Diablo, I'm your Diablo person. <laughs> we're right now. like, if I stop playing Diablo, <laughs> then maybe, <laughs> maybe. So for the, real, I can see you coming coming back when I'm in the hospital with the baby. You come back and play Diablo three with, with Jimmy Marbles while I'm in the hospital. Hey, he he's West Coast, so when I, when all our friends are asleep, he'll still be awake, <laughs> and I can be like, oh man, I guess I go ahead and play some with Jimmy. I mean, kids are up. So Diablo three's fun. Renee's, Renee's feeding the kids. I already changed them, so I was waiting for them to go back down. So. After Demon Hunter, do you think I should do my Crusader? Or my, I have one, or my monk. I don't have either one. Do you have a mage? My mage is already 70. Oh, okay. So, should I do, should I create, I don't know. It's really up to you. Which one do you think is more fun? They're both, they're both different. Um, I, um, I think you'll like the monk because it feels more roguish. Mm. Maybe I'll try a monk. And um, see how Crusader feels like a barbarian. You don't have any more things to get up. You're done. You what? You, you, you you have all the classes. Yeah, but I'll, I might do something else just to play around. Mm. Um, like I'm I'm doing my second monk now. Okay. But don't be jealous, okay? I'm jealous of you. <laughs> no, I'm talking so, about doing the, oh. <laughs> doing so, the monk. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so we played a lot of Diablo this week. We did. We did. So here's to um. Staying healthy this week so I can get some stuff done. So Yeah. <laughs> let's let's get on to some food. The fridge is not prepared. <sighs> so I actually did the frog pants total for this week. This is week eighty seven. Mm-hmm. And the frog pants challenge on Lose It. We have hundred and eighty six people in the challenge. And they have lost a total and I didn't write this down right. I'll fix it. Uh, one thousand four hundred and thirty-three point one pounds. Wow! And that's seven point seven pounds per person. So that's really amazing. Um, we've had a lot of chatter going back and forth in the Lose It group on Facebook. We do, and, and it's nice. So you so you can get on there and talk about what's tough for you and your accomplishments, and and it's really awesome that people are having that back and forth. And the, and the cool part too, I have to admit, you know. You know, we have Chin Beard who's doing stuff mm-hmm. and everything else. We even we're even getting some interaction from Veronica Belmont. Yeah, you so know, Veronica Belmont in the group. And yeah, so she's um, kind of a more high profile person in the Frog Pants community. Yeah. So uh, that's awesome. So it's just nice for somewhere to go where you can just talk and you won't be ridiculed for right, right. You know, not being able to lose a pound and you're trying really hard but you just can't do it. Right, um, it gives lots of. Lots of uh, support, support yep. and everything like that. So um, if you want to join, and please do, 
Uh, it is uh, facebook.com slash group slash frog pants lose it. Yep. And there you will find information to join the lose it group yep. as well uh, on lose it.com and information to join the challenge so you can be counted in the total. Right. So um, one thing I meant to say during media was that one of the most wonderful announcements that happened last week that there is a pre sequel. Of Borderlands. Yes, we didn't talk about coming this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, then Gearbox Australia or no, two Gearbox announced that um, 2K Australia will be putting out um, right a pre sequel. So this is going to be between Borderlands the original and Borderlands Two. You're going to be able to play four characters. One is Wilhelm. One is Clap Track, Clap Trap, and two ladies. Um, one's right. a um, uh, like a barbarian or a guardian, right? And it's not made by Gearbox, but but Two K um, has their hand in yeah. it. Yeah, and Gearbox is I think they're they're helping to do writing, right? So okay, uh, so yeah, so that's awesome. So one thing that I that is interesting to try, uh, Taco Bell has their new breakfast, and I heard about this a while ago, but this is pretty cool. Yep. Um, so tell us about Taco Bell, be- Ta- Taco Bell's breakfast. So they have their AM Crunch Wrap, which is um your breakfast combination of eggs, your meat choice, cheese, and hash browns, and a tortilla, um for easy handling. <laughs> um, you also have um a waffle taco that has uh you know the your waffle. As the as the shell that uh, you're a little scared to try that has sausage in it, eggs in it, right? And I'm just like, I'm torn. What do you put in that? Do you put syrup? I wouldn't because I don't like syrup in my eggs. Or do you put ketchup? Neither. Or do you just eat it as just is? Eat it as is. Why but, how, but why have a waffle if you can't have syrup? Syrup. 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 And syrup. then syrup. Syrup. <laughs> and then there's um, so putting up some scissor. And they have some other stuff. They have like some um different types of tacos and stuff like that so i mean it's not horrible yeah um, and i don't i don't do fast food eggs right now right right only in, in and even before i was pregnant the only fast food egg i could really tolerate was chick-fil-a so i just got a sausage and hash brown kind of crunch wrap a little dry mm-hmm. but it wasn't horrible um I, 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 I don't know what I could have had to make it better. That's the only thing I've had so far. It was meh. But they have their little um, their little Cinnabon type uh, pastry. Yeah, the Cinnabon bites. Bites. Those are pretty good. So, I mean, talk, talk about breakfast. It's not the worst thing in the world. Right. There are worse breakfasts. But it still doesn't be Chick-fil-A. Sorry. Right. So, um, and then, oh, man, I moved my notes. What's the next topic, babe? Uh, Sorry, I moved my notes. <laughs> the KFC Corsage. Oh, goodness gracious. So, <sighs> this is horrible. So, apparently, KFC has teamed up with um, a local a local florist here in Louisville. Um, for a lot of people that may not know, um, Yum Brands, which are the owners. I want to believe this is true, but keep going. Oh, it's true. Um, uh, Yum Brands. Who is the owner of um, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Long John Silver's, Kentucky Fried Chicken? Is that it? Is it those four? Taco Bell, A and W. Oh, A and W's there as well. Long John Silver. Oh yeah, I already said Long John Silver. So and A and W. So these guys, just in time for prom season, they have unveiled its newest creation, a chicken corsage. Oh. Yeah. Yes, it's KF- true. It seems like a, it seems like a perfect April Fool's joke, perfect April Fool's, but it's not. It's yeah. Not. So the KFC and, and local florist Nans and Craft have teamed up to make this culinary hybrid, and no, it's not a joke. So far, twenty people have already ordered it. One order was even for a Kentucky wedding party. The corsage doesn't actually come with chicken, though. The baby's breath arrangement is shipped with a five-dollar coupon, good for one drumstick. At any KFC, and then you just kind of put the drumstick in the in the arrangement, yes. and it and fits that it perfectly, and that is where gross, you, y'all you, don't do this. You tie, you make us see. This is why we look bad. 
This is this is what make Kentuckians look bad. So it's stuff like this. So there's a there's a this. so there's gonna be a link in the show notes for the commercial. If you really want of, one of the of the guy bringing the girl the corsage, and the chicken the the fat part of the of the drumstick goes up towards the top of the hand. So you know. See, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, J.K. K KFC corsage. Wow, those people from Kentucky are on drugs. This is what I'm talking about. Nans and craft in the KFC. This is the kind of exposure that you give to people in Kentucky. Well, I'm justified. I already screwed all that up already. Justified it first. So, <laughs> thanks, 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 TV. So order your KFC massage and just <laughs> don't talk to me anymore if you do. All right, <laughs> they won't. Odds and ends. All right, so we have some birthdays that are happening this week. We do have some birthdays. Um, on Wednesday, we have Christopher Real. Christopher Real from the is he from the tab pool? I'm gonna say yes because he's not on my friends list. I'm gonna say yes. You sure it's not one? You sure it's not one of your booze? No, all my booze are not on my Facebook anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, babe. Well, when I quit Facebook, I I'm know. not gonna add him back. You didn't. I know you were excited that I didn't, didn't add him back. No, I that actually, would be weird if I added him back though. That would have been weird if you added him back. Aren't you glad I didn't add him back? That would have been weird. But here's the question: If they asked to be your friend, would you add him back? Maybe because I'm an adult, I might. I'm not gonna go out of my way to add him back, but I, I. I mean, would you not want me to add? You have old flames on your Facebook, um, or people that liked you at one point. Well, see, my old flames and your old flames are different. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay. So the ones that you're friends with are like the long term ones. Well, I'm right? not friends with any of them now. No, no. So I guess you know, I mean, people that like me. That if they are, that asked are on there. me, I'd probably say yes because it's. I mean, I'm. It, it's out there. I'm married. No, you that's fine. See everything that's on my Facebook anyway. Well, I mean, I've I I have. I think I told you this because I, I I I've had to unfriend a person that that kind of liked me, and she was married, and she was confiding to me about how her husband was being bad. That's weird. I'm, and, I'm, I'm not confiding to anybody about, about my husband. And so I was kind of like. Who I used to date. That's I'll, just weird. I was kind of like, okay, that's weird. You don't do that. But anyway, yeah. so uh, I want to say happy birthday to N's wife. Uh, her birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday happy yesterday. Happy birthday, N's wife. Woo. Oh, and my sister Renee. Her yep. birthday was yesterday as Woo! well. Happy birthday, Renee from Renee. And today yes. is my oldest daughter's birthday. Happy birthday, oldest daughter. Happy birthday, Brianna. Happy, ha, all right, yeah, I couldn't remember if we gave names. We, we, we did get names. Happy birthday, Brianna. Yep, happy birthday. Man, And uh, you don't have to put it in there, though. Oh, okay. And <laughs> I want to say happy birthday to Matt Johnson. His yep. birthday is Wednesday Tadpool. Yep, from the Tadpool. Um, I don't have him on mine, so I'll take that. Yep. Um, uh, yeah. We have Caleb Kobe, um, who's from the Tap Who as well, whose birthday is on Thursday. Ooh. Friday, we have Liz Moses. Moses. Oh, and who's from Tadpool. And her birthday is on Friday. Happy birthday to Tadpool week. And Sunday, none other than Claytham. Happy birthday, Claytham. Happy Woo. birthday, Corey. So happy Hyrule, birthday, everybody. Hyro Prot. <laughs> Hero Prot. Okay, see, <laughs> thank you. I say Hero Prot. You say Hiro. It's H I R O. I say Hero. I say Hiro. Fine. You say Hero. Would I say Hiro? Uh, and we have two congratulations to give. What's our first congratulations? First congratulations go out to Danny and Shanna. Woo! Who are friends up in Canada yep. that we were, met on Wow? We met on Wow, and they are a Wow couple as well, and they married and everything else. Like j- just like us. They. Announced their pregnancy last year. Yep. Come to find out, they're having twins. Yep. And then they found out it was girls. Yep. <laughs> and they had their twin girls this week. Happy birthday to Eleanor Sue and Gwendolyn Elizabeth. Congratulations to you guys. Congratulations. So much. I, and I am so happy for them. Their clan has, has doubled. Yep. 
and uh, they're going to be wonderful parents. And I am so happy that they're here. And uh, we get to pick Danny and Shanna's brain whenever the craziness dies down a bit. Yeah, since, yeah. Uh, we're going to be going through that in a few months. So and it congratulations. Was, it was funny because when we announced that we were having twin girls as well, Shannon was like, okay, y'all are really freaking me out now. It's getting a little creepy. It's getting a little creepy. What if we named our girl Eleanor Sue and Gwendolyn Elizabeth? That would be creepy on purpose. That, that would be. That, that, <laughs> that would, would be, be creepy on purpose. Yeah, okay. that would be. And we have another congratulations. Who's our next congratulations? To Jay? Adrian and Cole. Woo! What's up with them? Oh, man. They are expecting another baby in their household. Well, another baby. They're expecting another another person in their household. They're expecting their first kid. Hey. Big future birthday yep. to the Gibson. Yep, in baby. October. Yep, so uh, that's awesome. We love Adrian and Cole. We've talked about them often. Yep. Um, and uh, we're so excited for them to have a new member of their household. And uh, I'm excited to meet baby Gibson. We're, we're, we're going to have lots of little play dates. So uh, that's exciting. Yeah, oh yeah. So, yeah, we've come to, to another end of a Valentine cast. We have. We have. So we want to thank everybody for being here. Um, we had some shout outs to some friends. At the top of the show, we're going to have a shout out now for some of the friends at the bottom of the show. I want to thank Jimmy Marvels and them, from the guys at the Hush Show, for, for um, help, you know, being there for us. The ladies from the Pisces Life. Um, so you can go check them out as well. Um, yeah, we did talk about um, also Mr. Mom from um, Mr. Eric Mahler. Um, check him out at MrMomDaily.com. Um, Geek Daddy O. Star Mike. I mean, Star. Mike Star Mode, Star Mode. <laughs> I can't remember the. That's okay. No, he's not doing the show right now. He wants to do his show, but he's blogging. You need to write this down. Well, no, he he came to visit us today, okay. and I wasn't expecting that. And I kind of wanted to shout out what he's doing, you know, being a being an awesome dad mm. um, and everything else. But you know, he's a stay at home dad and he's doing awesome work. Um, with with those folks and with that agency, that agency, are those th- that support stay at home dads. Mm-hmm. So he's a, he's a perfect example of um, what a stay ho- stay at home dad should be. I, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Not you know he he's not he's not what society thinks stereotypical stay at home dads are. Yep. Um, Star mode six. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Mike. That's okay. <laughs> um. Also, I think that was it. Oh, is, oh, is that all you have to say? Oh, Nerd Parents. Check out Nicole and them. Yeah, Nerd Parents. This past episode featured Terpster and Patrick. It was the non-parent Nerd Parent mm-hmm. uh, episode, which was awesome because you got a good episode on people who don't even have kids on the way. Right. And I loved how Patrick wanted that one thing to tell you how kids work. Right. There is no one thing. Right. To tell you how kids work, so it was it was it was a good episode. So check that out. And the official name of the organization that Mike um, helps out with and um, is a part of is the National At Home Dad Network. So if you're a stay at home dad and you're looking for some folks like minded folks, um, look those guys up. I mean, they do some great things. I mean, they got together in Colorado and hung out, and you know, it's cool. It's okay that dads. And men can get together and just hang out. It is true. You know what I'm saying? I Sometimes I'm like, why isn't there a daddy board like Baby Center um, or be- Cafe Mom? Well, but then sometimes I'm like, I don't want to deal with that drama. <laughs> and I also want to give a shout out to Daryl and Jesse Hammond's new podcast, Grumpy Cast. I didn't know about that, but Yeah, I had, I had heard about this. Dar- yeah, it's just that they... They they they're just doing things to be grumpy about, which is awesome. They're just grumpy about stuff. That's cool. At least at least that's what I think is about. I haven't heard it yet, but I think I remember him talking about it. I think I think I remember that's what it was. So yeah, uh, it sounds like my kind of podcast because I'm pretty grumpy. Yeah. Also check out Jay um Jay Hammond C's um podcast Beyond the Playlist. I mean he has a good thing going on over there as well. Yep. So cool. So I want to tell you how you can reach us. Um. You can always email us with uh, movie suggestions, um, any any questions, uh, just say hi yep. at thevalentinecast at gmail.com. Yep. Uh, you can also see our blog uh, uh, at valentinecast.com. Uh, the podcast Twitter feed, we tweet our, at our show times all the time, is Valentine Cast. 
And the Facebook page uh, is facebook.com slash valentinecast. If you want to call us, you can do so at 415-758-2278. That's 415-758-VCAST. Video can be seen at youtube.com slash valentinecast. My Twitter feed is the Cowboy. T-H-E-C-A-O-B-O-I. Renee's Twitter feed is The Ice Flow. We love you guys. See you next week. Thanks, chat room. Bye. Bye. Boops. Woo! That's the show. <laughs> Check this out. Scott... You can tell it's Grumpy Cast. God, I made that for Grumpy Cast. I'm just going to put it in the chat room, too. <laughs> so someone said, is that supposed to be Daryl Skills? Ah, our pleasure. Aw, thanks. And we love sharing it. Oh, oh okay. So Zabi said she won't be in next week. Uh, the opening reception of her daughter's senior project is Monday night. That's awesome. Make sure you tweet out some pictures or Facebook up some pictures because I want to see that. I love to see talented work. So, um, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Man, thanks, everybody. I had to uh, school people on service animals today. At work? Well, no, no. Uh, yesterday uh, that they are just for the visually impaired. <laughs> I was like, uh, really? They, yeah. Yeah. Who's you at the school? Oh, on one of your boards? No, on Facebook. They're like, they have other dogs besides visually impaired. I was like, yeah, they have epilepsy, PTSD, anxiety. I mean, <laughs> every every um, handicap is not visible. Yeah. So.